All right, we're going to take a look at the user account retire protocol tool. So this is a user action. Uh, the, the idea behind this action is when someone leaves the organization, you want to be able to secure their account credentials and really prepare the account for retirement. Um, this is, a, this is a, a tool that's easily adaptable to other tasks as well. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward tool. It's a good one to start with uh, if you're just new to RCT Builder, um, just because it gives you a chance to kind of see how it works. So uh, we're going to take you through the tool really quick, uh, kind of show you the different steps, see how they work. Um, and set you loose. So first thing we want to do whenever we take a look at a tool, uh, we want to set up how that tool is going to function, how it's going to run. So here at the start node, uh, this represents the, in this case, the user account we'd click on when we're going to run this tool. Uh, we can set up the action properties to configure the, the tool itself. So um, we've defaulted this to show tabbed results. We've given it a name, user account retire protocol. Uh, we've filtered by action type, in this case uh, it's a user action, and the display here is going to help us uh, filter out what we're looking for um, from, from SCCM to RCC, RCT Builder. So uh, in this case we want to show the username to differentiate between user accounts that we click on. From there, we just need to, uh, we've got the flow of actions is all set up nice and easy for us. Um, at each arrow here, we call them edges. So at each edge, we want to, um, these are pre-configured in, in the builder pack, but if you're creating your own, you want to configure your uh, input parameters. So we've uh, mapped, we've done parameter mapping for the domain to uh, tell RCT Builder where to get that information from. For SAM account name, uh, in this case for the password, we're actually prompting for the password in advance. Here at the start node, we've got a custom input parameter and put a new password. So the person running this tool will get that password, type it in, uh, and when they do that, it will reset to that password here in this function. And then from here, uh, we've got uh, some settings marked as false because we don't want to force a password change in this instance and we don't want to unlock the account. Next, we're going to disable the account. Again, we've got some parameters mapped so that uh, our CT Builder knows what, uh, where to find that information. And finally, the last step for this one, um, we're going to move the account to a new OU. It's worth noting for this for this particular RCT Builder template, we need to specify the OU in our environment here. Uh, so you'll see that we've named this step, be sure to add the OU. And here we've added a, a kind of a filler that says add desired OU here. So we would delete this, add the OU we wanted, save it, and then this tool would be ready to run. Thanks for watching.